mindset is actually it's not all fun 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 especially at winter <laughs> it's just a reminder to drive really safely so if there are still a few of you out there wondering whether it's worth taking the plunge and buying a motorhome i highly recommend it Look at this cool Prezi for Das's birthday, a new doormat for Stampy. Well, we're still in the Forest of Dean at Whitemead Forest Park. The kids have got some work to do, but first there's some present opening. So what have you got there, Daddy? A gun. A gun, just gun's what you need. A gun. Yeah, so you can shoot in the wild when you're, <laughs> when you're wild camping. It looks like an upgrade to my my army knife. At some point this has got to come in handy so I have got finger noodles. <laughs> Please don't oh oh Daz that is razor sharp <laughs> right I just feel like this is not the sort of thing we should have around children right now. I'll show you the picture yeah, because I can't undo it. Where's the taser? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that button there, that button there, that releases a pink smoke like the penguin. Yeah, that would be marvellous. Slightly worrying. Our carbon monoxide monitor is setting off an alarm, so we need to open windows. We had been cooking continually, and after switching the gas off and plenty of ventilation, it didn't happen again. Though it was very disconcerting, it was reassuring to know that our alarm was working well. I've escaped the kids, and just had a wonderful hour swimming in the pool, 10 minutes in the jacuzzi and 10 minutes in the sauna. This place is amazing. Um, there's tons of lockers, tons of changing rooms and hair dryers, but the hair dryers cost. So I'm going to go back to the van rock in this kind of look for today. Well, after all that exercise, it's time for birthday lunch in town. There's Stampy, with the forest in the background. It really is like going back in time here. Oh, we've just been driving through the forest of Dean and it is so beautiful but we couldn't really find many places to eat, so we pulled up outside a Chinese restaurant, pre-booked some food to take away. Not much vegan selection, but I'm sure they'll enjoy it anyway. I hope they'll enjoy it. Fantastic. Right, birthday takeaway picked up. We're just driving through to get back to our beautiful caravan site, and we just read that on this road that we're on now, and this forest, as far as you can see, either side of us, there have been 27 casualties in the last year. Five says, years. Sorry, in the last five years. Yeah, if it was the last year, that would have been... <laughs> I just wouldn't have travelled on it. It's just a reminder to drive really safely and slowly, especially when you can't see what's coming around the corner. So we grabbed my birthday takeaway, jumped in Stampy, and headed back to the campsite to enjoy it in the warm. How's your veggie burger, Phoenix? Any good? And how are the noodles? Very good. Meanwhile, Etty enjoyed his burger and chips in the middle of his French lesson. So the boys have all gone to the swimming pool. And they're just going to catch a little bit of time in the swimming pool before we head off to our secret part of the journey. They think we're going home. So I've just managed to get myself a little shower, hence my uh, angel escape to the chateau vibes. Um, with the hat because it was freezing on the way back so I just needed to wrap up as soon as I got out but I just managed to use the showers on site so I feel a bit more refreshed because I think for the next couple of days we're going to be slumming it in the motorhome that's fine but I can't wait to get on the next leg of the journey and see how surprised they are because I think Etty for sure didn't expect to see his friends this side of Christmas. So while the boys thought we were headed south we actually headed west to Aberystwyth and some scary roads along the way. Sharp curve right road lords to sent us down this road which doesn't feel suitable for motorhomes oh my gosh it said no lorries big turn left big line through sharp lorries curve left. sharp curve left this feels like some sort of racetrack oh my gosh it's like a snake a serpentine it's mad yeah, Road Lord is telling us we're about to cross the border. Daryl freaked out a bit and I reminded him we're probably heading into Wales. So no scary borders. Just scary roads. So this is our route from the Forest of Dean to West Wales. Border crossing ahead. A tiny little road following a cyclist. I've already got mild palpitations from the memories of last ahead. time. Yeah, starting to get flashbacks. 
This is only in Morrisons in Wales. Look, you've got a hardware store all the way along the side for all your hardware needs. <laughs> Okay, we're here. We're home. Jerry! Wait, where is this? Do you recognise it? Wait. <laughs> Do you recognise it? Oh. Where are we, guys? Where are we, guys? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Do you know about this? Do you know where we are, Phoenix? Innie, do you know about this? <laughs> Phoenix, do you know where we are? Where? Who would you like to see? Before Christmas. Louis. We're at Louis' house. <laughs> do they know? They do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Since we left it, we've driven all the way to West Wales. <laughs> Are you pleased? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy Christmas, guys! Yes. Wait, come on. After a wonderful warm welcome and an impromptu birthday cake, we got back in Stampy for a night's sleep. Oh, I've just had my first experience of winter van life. It's not quite winter yet, but it feels like winter. And Indy and I swapped beds, so I slept above the cab last night, thinking that it was going to be just fine. And then I woke up in the middle of the night, and I was so freezing cold. And I think I held tension in my shoulders all night, so I've got agony in my shoulders on one side. I worried about my children sleeping next to me being cold. The nights are really long when it's freezing and you can't sleep. And when my alarm went off this morning at six, I just lay there and tried to pull my onesie down over my exposed legs, but I'm sleeping. You can see I'm sleeping with a t-shirt on, um, an elasticated scarf, a onesie, and a sleeping bag, and it was just unbearable. <laughs> so today I'm hoping to get hold of a blanket and have a after 10 minutes of a hot cup of tea and some paracetamol, I just thought it was important to recognise actually it's not all fun, 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 especially at winter. Um, you do need to be prepared. And if you think this is going to be enough, it's not enough. You need to have a proper thermal sleeping bag, lots of blankets. I'm definitely feeling a bit more human now. It's nice to be up and having a nice cup of tea. The heaters are on inside feeling a little bit better and we're thinking of buying blankets today and we might rearrange the sleeping again so that daddy and I are, dad and I are up above the cab with Phoenix. Um, I can certainly leech some of uh, dad's body heat if he comes to join me. That's my ulterior motive anyway. So these three are very excited about going back into the house and seeing their friends. They had a lovely time last night hanging out with them but I think we ended up leaving the cottage to get into the motorhome at midnight. So you did, it was midnight. So um, they had loads of fun and it was a great surprise. They don't look very happy this morning. It's because I've just told them that they have to get dressed and have breakfast before they go inside. It's the only kind thing to do because they stayed up so late too. Right, we're in my friend's wonderful field and we're about to let Sammy go off lead. I'm quite nervous about this. We've got dog treats. It's enclosed, the sheep have been separated but he seems to be quite keen to go let's see what happens After a lovely run around in the field, we brought Sammy into the smaller pen to introduce him to the sheep. Sammy introduced himself in the only way he knows how. It occurred to us that Sammy perhaps has never met a sheep before in his life. While Sammy dealt with his new fan club, B headed off in the car to Aberystwyth. Ah. <sighs> 
<laughs> look at that. Oh, look at the flies dancing in the sunshine. <laughs> Even that's pretty. So I'm trying some vegan cheese. And what is it? Smoking cashews. And that's made out of cashews. I've just tasted the best vegan cheese ever. That is divine. So we're going for pear and ginger. And we're going for garlic. And, no, what was this one? Garlic and herb. Absolutely heavenly. Started to go a bit wrong. I'm filling up a basket now. What to choose? Look at that December sunshine. It is just beautiful down here at Aberystwyth this afternoon. We've done some shopping, we've met some people. Uh, older children have had a lovely bit of social time. It's just stunning. Oh, what a place to live. Well, for any of you who are still working in an office and wondering what it might be like to work in your motorhome, it's like that. And this is the view from my office today. So if there are still a few of you out there wondering whether it's worth taking the plunge and buying a motorhome, I highly recommend it. Do it. Go on, do it. Indy loved rounding up the sheep, and here he even volunteered to hold one of them while they had their hooves cleaned. The difference of having a heater on in the morning and in the evening is huge and I've got a new blanket which made a difference too but poor Indy was the one that suffered last night because he didn't get into his sleeping bag. I don't think he wore his jumper underneath his onesie so he was very chilly last night. Still, Sammy's gone out for his morning business and that was really lovely just seeing in the dark the, the sheep just watching us and the crunch of the ice underneath the feet the first experience I've had of ice this year and to have it in the middle of a valley surrounded by hills and not a sound of vehicles uh, just was quite magical really. Uh, we've got one of the squirrels up with us nice and early this morning the other two are not having a <laughs> you're not a squirrel the other two are in bed. And we're setting off before our friends because it's going to we go a little bit slower in Stampy and um, you guys are heading off for some treats, uh, experiences around the castle. Yeah, it was a chilly night again, and we're all discussing ways to stay warm. You're uh, not feeling very well, are you? No, I seem to have picked up something just before I went to bed last night, mm. so my throat's a bit iffy, which doesn't help. I think um, Phoenix and I have had something for a few days, so I reckon I've passed it on yeah, to you. But before we leave this beautiful place, we're gonna try and, I'm gonna send the drone up just as it starts to get light, just to give you an idea of how beautiful it is here. <laughs> so this morning, it's still dark outside, and we're in the valley in Wales, but the boys are using their Jackie Lawson online advent calendar. Now they have the paper advent calendar, and of course, they have a chocolate advent calendar too, but we have, for the last few years, have used the Jackie Lawson advent calendar. Now it's absolutely beautiful. Um, this is a game they're playing, but it's a whimsical online experience where every day you open a different window and you have a different animation so if you haven't looked up jackie lawson before i she's not paying me for this thing by the way it's just a recommendation and you enjoy something whimsical maybe little puzzles to do tree decorating there's lots of other activities as well as the daily advent animations i highly recommend that you go and have a look at the jackie lawson um site and see if you can download the Sussex Advent Calendar. Every year it's a different location. Last year it was London. A uh, uh, year before that it was the Cotswolds. So this year it's Sussex. And it's just beautifully animated and the illustrators behind it are just so talented. I'll try and catch another little part of it so you can have a look too. This is Etty decorating a tree. So you have your own room inside uh, the Advent scene as well. And this is the beautiful scene. So you can go around your village in Sussex and go into all the different shops. And then each day you click on the day of December and it will take you into the animation. So we won't watch the whole thing, but you can see there's different characters walking around the scene and there's things to spot. And Indy's just chosen a day 
this is today so this is the what day are we on the 7th December. of December so you get a nice animation as well so it's lovely I highly recommend it for festive happy feels and fun Just the start of some pink clouds coming in over the valley. What a sight. And that sound you can hear is not a motorway, it's the river. Sammy's decided we need a second little jaunt out before we go to Cardiff this morning. But after all of his running in the field yesterday, he probably is going to need a rest day because he probably hasn't run like that since August. And greyhounds aren't used to huge amounts of energetic running, they have short bursts. So they do advise that greyhounds have rest days. Couldn't feel much more Christmassy. Walking in the most beautiful countryside, there's not a soul to be seen. There are a few sleeping houses dotted about on the hills surrounding the valley. Smoke plumes coming out of the chimney. It really is like the advent calendar that the boys were just looking at. Oh, more pink candy floss skies. Is that a beautiful field, Sammy? But you'd love to run in there, wouldn't you? So yesterday we had a really, really lovely few hours in Aberystwyth with my friend and I. We dropped the teenagers off into town. My good friend took me to a vegan delicatessen and she has the most wonderful produce. And I highly recommend you go if you are ever in Aberystwyth. It's called Utopia. The Welsh word is obviously spelt slightly differently. She creates the most beautiful food. But what was the most impressive thing was the cheese. Now, those of you that are may, might be vegan, you get some good ones. And if you want some great ones, you have to pay an awful lot of money. But this particular vegan cheese was just delicious. So I highly recommend Utopia and Avariswith for any vegans that are visiting, or if you just fancy giving it a try. Now, a few doors away from this particular delicatessen was a food bank, and I met the most inspirational woman. Again, I've forgotten her name, and I was a bit shy, so I didn't manage to get to film her. But she collects all the food that would normally be wasted from supermarkets, and she does workshops. She does a pay what you feel as you walk in. It feels like a proper greengrocer's. It looks just lovely. And there are always things being offered in the community using the food waste. She loves creating and making with food. Nothing goes to waste. So if none of the bananas are taken, she will dehydrate them and sell banana chips. So she's constantly thinking of pickling, dehydrating, making things and offering her services using food waste and I think that is really inspirational and uh, again just a few doors away from Utopia it's definitely worth looking in and seeing what they can offer. About a year ago maybe January time when we first visited our friends it was an Airbnb we had to make our own fires it was quite chilly and it looked out on the graveyard ah that was nice. After some confusion about exactly where we were going to meet Sammy and Bee along the road we set off in Stampy towards Cardiff via the beautiful roads of the Brecon Beacons. Join us next time as we arrive in Cardiff, explore the castle and check out the winter wonderland. Until our next escape, thanks for watching.